Hello guys, welcome back uh, to another tutorial today. We're going to be talking about how to know when you've finished your track uh, to export and bounce it out of Ableton uh, into an MP3 and then send off to record labels or upload Spotify or DistroKid or post, post and send it to your friends or put it on SoundCloud. So I've got a finished track here. I was making this um, breakbeat track, and um, I know it was finished when there was enough engagement throughout the track, and um, just kept the listener engaged, and there was enough depth to the track. So I listened to my gut instinct, and. Um, when I felt the track was finished, it was finished. It had enough time in the track. There was enough layers. Um, so yeah, the duration, quality, and depth. But you can get a deep track with just five layers. So it's not about, oh, I should have a hundred layers as a finished track. It's about how does the track sound? Are you using good quality samples? Is it of industry industry standard? Is it your own sound. These are questions you need to be asking yourself when you finish the track. Um, and you'll really stand out uh, above the rest when you've got a good, well composed track, high quality samples, it's arranged nicely um, and mixed down as well. So you want a good body of the track, you want good energy, you want good samples. Um, and yeah, that's that's it. When you when you get to the duration that you want your song to be, and you listen back two or three times, and there's nothing that you want to change, and you think, okay, this is good for my standard, then you export it, and then you just repeat that process, and practice makes perfect. Um, no one ever got famous overnight from one song, unless you know they've had pr prior experience to making music. Um, it's about making a lot of tracks and that way you're more likely to hit the target the bullseye of having a, a viral track or a track that does well in the industry or you know overnight success hitting number one you're much more likely to hit number one with 500 well produced tracks than one track that that's just you've tried to over polish and it's just you're just sitting there polishing a turd and it's just not it's not the right track, you know, move on to the next track, take what you've learned and keep refining your processes and improving and you'll find that your personal development, you grow a lot faster when you're finishing tracks as opposed to sitting there messing about in serum for three hours and getting nothing done, which is just an absolute waste of time. You're much better off working on making music effectively. So yeah. Hope that helped, guys. Peace.